Ever since I started coming to New York in about 1981 or two, I have always been blown away by how surly all the ice cream truck operators are. I mean, the image of it that I had in my head was a good humor man in a little white outfit, smiling. The humor was lost. The year was 2009. I wanted to work on the streets of New York and do something weird. So I found an ice cream truck to use. The beginning of Big Gay Ice Cream had more to do with having an ice cream truck than with the menu or, or anything else. We both had other jobs, other careers. This was more of a, a fun summer project to do. It wasn't, we weren't setting out to turn it into our new business or anything like that. That's one of the reasons the name stuck too, is because we wanted to do something weird with an ice cream truck. And that was a placeholder name for the Facebook group. <laughs> I called it Big Gay Ice Cream Truck because the whole thing just sounded ridiculous. You feel like you sort of created this and hit at the exact right time? Because I feel like seven years later, Big Gay Ice Cream wouldn't be so much of, just the title and the branding itself wouldn't be so much of a thing anymore. Food or, trucks also are no longer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it True. was definitely a zeitgeist moment. You had social media starting, Twitter starting, then you had food trucks. Some people look at it as pure marketing, that we somehow found that there was a market in ice cream for gay people, <laughs> which is just boneheaded. I wish they I, don't I, eat I ice cream. Idea. B. Arthur? Yeah. She's the patron saint of ice cream. <laughs> well, um, well, first of all, the Golden Girls. I mean, so of there's course. that. But when B. Arthur died, she left a little over a quarter million, right? I think it was like 300,000, yeah. To the Alley Forney Center, which is a shelter for homeless LGBT kids. Bear in mind that we didn't have any names for any of our cones because we forgot that that was an even thing people do. Mm -hmm. this, this when, you go, when you go to a deli, you know, you order a, yeah. the Pete's Empress or whatever. Yeah. So we had a couple of cones and we finally realized that if they had names, they would sell better because this was, people could order by the Yeah, name. this was 2010. Perfect. When B. Arthur, when the will was read and she left all that money, we thought, oh, you know what? Let's call it a B. Arthur, because it's kind of golden, and what she did really deserves some sort of salute. And we don't name stuff often, especially after people, because, you know, no yeah. one's worth it. <laughs> Guys, again, thank you so much for talking to me. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, it's been, a pleasure. it's been a pleasure having you talk. <laughs>